Hello, hello, and good morning, my crafty witches. We are back again. And it is a beautiful Monday morning out in Boise, Idaho today. So hi, hello. How's everyone doing? You are on Tony's Witchy Arts and Crafts today, and I'm Tony. <laughs> so, um... We're still working on the um, Wiccan Holiday Picture Book slash Junk Journal. So um, if you're just now checking my channel out, there are several more videos on this topic or subject that I'm working on. So you might want to watch those to get caught up. Please hit like and subscribe. It helps me grow my channel so um, more and more people that are like-minded can find these videos. Thank you so much. Much, much love. Alright, so the next two um, holidays are going to be very simple for me. Just because they're... Not exactly my favorite holidays, but I still, you know, recognize them and celebrate them. So, the next one is going to be Ostara. We are working on Ostara today. Okay. And I already have my panel that I want to put on ready to go. So, I'm going to glue that down now. I'm trying to get... See, I start filming and now I have the hiccups. Like, huh? I'm just putting my glue on now. And these are the colors. I did a red base and a yellow panel. These are the colors that represent this holiday for me, and I completely understand that um, people will have different colors for themselves, but this is what it represents for me. Okay, so this is the time that we, this is the time of year for me in Boise, Idaho, that I start seeing a lot of growth, um, a lot of flowers blooming, the bees are coming out, the birds and the animals. So here's my title. Um, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do an altar piece for this one. It's just going to be a lot of imagery. Okay. So I have the symbol of a rabbit. Um, this came out of a sticker book because I don't own anything that's, yeah, I don't have any, like, Ostara images. <laughs> so I really had to dig through my stuff. <laughs> so I got an image of a rabbit um, for uh, the goddess, I think, Esther? I think that's how you pronounce it, goddess Esther. So, um... Because I, I like to invite gods and goddesses into my home for the holidays and the seasons. So, um, a lot of symbolism for this time of year is eggs. So we did some eggs. So I might... Um, so, uh, on the eggs, I did a lot of symbolism. So, I got the goddess um, with the flowers um, being very fertile this time of year. Uh, the sun, because the sun is out and nice and, you know, full bloom. And then some um, pinnacles for protections. Uh, a little bit of goddess, the triple moon symbols here. And very earthy colors for the eggs. Because uh, old um, pagan tradition is they would um, naturally color the eggs with um, herbs and um, spices and stuff. And they would do 
a, a couple red, like deep red, like blood red eggs symbolizing that, um, you know, first menstrual for a woman. And so when they did egg hunts, the women of the village, um, the first young women to find the red eggs would be the women that would be fertile that year to give birth. So yeah, um, very, um, very old fashioned, very traditional. That's what egg hunts used to be. So that's what I'm going to do. See, very simple. I'm not doing a whole lot for that front. Um, I think for the holidays, I still like to boil eggs and make doubled eggs. So I might put a doubled egg on my altar as an offering this time of year. But I will only leave it on there for um, just for a couple hours and then I will dispose of it in a proper way. <clears throat> I don't leave stuff like that on my altar for too long because they despoil and start to stink. And um, just be careful if you've got animals in the home. Don't leave, don't leave offerings on your altar for too long. If we don't want the pets to get a hold of them, it might make them sick. And these are just things that I've learned about this holiday, and you know the way I celebrate it might be different than yours. I completely understand because we're all. We celebrate things differently. I understand that. That is what's so awesome about the Wiccan traditions and holidays. There's no right or wrong way. There isn't. This is a pretty laid back, easy religion. Spiritual practice, whatever you want to call it. These eggs, I just, um, I drew one and then used it as a template to make the others so they kind of looked consistent. <laughs> and then I just decorated them by drawing on them. So that was kind of fun. And for the rabbit, like I said, I found that in a sticker book. And then I just made my title. This one's very, very simple. I think by now we all know which holiday is my favorite. <laughs> it's the one I started with first. And then we're gonna go to the inside. Um, first, I have this little rub-on sticker from a sticker sheet from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna rub that on first before I glue it to make it easier. I'm going to put that right in this corner here. I think after I'm done with this big project, I'm going to move on to um, showing some more embellishments, handmade embellishments that you can use in your book of shadows. And then after that, I'm moving on to um, holiday stuff. Because you know as crafters, we usually have to get a, a jump start on holiday, holiday stuff, especially if we're gonna use them as gifts. Might even start on doing some um, group swaps for the holidays. Um, 
if you're looking for a good um, Facebook uh, group, crafty group, um, there, there's one that I started called uh, Witchy Paper Crafts on Facebook. And we share, we share our witchy paper crafts on there and projects and junk journals and stuff. Okay, so there's my image. You can see that in that corner. And then in this corner, I'm putting another um, egg. It was in a sticker book I found. Just backed it on some paper to make it stronger. And just glue that on the inside. There's that. Now because this one was so simple, we're going to squeeze in one more holiday today. So we can pretty much get the, the two most simple ones out of the way so I can focus on the ones I put the most detail into. So there's my pocket. And so every, um, every signature is going to have a pocket and uh, another writing page. Because I'm, I'm writing um, my traditions or stories in here about that holiday. But there you go. That one is done. Very simple. Um, yours might be different, that's fine, but this is what mine's going to be. Okay, so now we can move on to Beltane. Beltane. This one's also going to be very simple. Um, got my base color. Take that stuff out. Got my base color and then my panel. I'm so excited that my apartment complex finally opened up the pool for the season. I love going swimming. Only thing, um, my, my knees can't handle stairs anymore and there's stairs coming in and going out of the pool. And so I might need my husband's help. But besides that, I'm so excited to be able to swim. I think it's just getting back out of the pool, you know, where, you know, that part where gravity kicks back in. I hate that part. <laughs> okay, here's my decorations for the front of this one. Here's my title, Beltane. And I, every year I go to a park with some of my friends and we do a maypole and we do a big potluck giving thanks and celebrating the god and goddess of this season and there's my little flower wreath right there that cute i think i'm bring it down a little bit more because i'm gonna put some butterflies and flowers in there so there's my tile get this glued down but this is a good time where we celebrate the goddess and god, the god and goddess, pretty much like, it's like their marriage time, where they get married, and they fertilize the land. A lot of these holidays aren't meant for young children. <laughs> They're more for like young adults ready to start a life for a family. Um, this, this right here um, celebrates the lighter side. 
I guess some of the hardcore pagans, they like to dance around a bonfire and sky clad. Okay, I'm just putting glue. Okay, so for my maypole, I just cut it. At, I just cut out um, a brown piece of paper, just a brown strip, kind of rounded it off on the edges, and then I just cut tiny little strips of other colors as the ribbon going around the pole, and then made them come off like they're not fully wrapped around the pole yet, and then for my flower, I just made a circle. And then glued a flowers on there that I punched out from a tiny little flower punch. There we go. Now I am going to add some butterflies. Because this is where the weather has warmed up. See butterflies out flying around. All the animals are chasing each other around because it's kind of mating, mating time. Um, let's see, I do want some gems on the hat. Because this, this holiday is kind of a very light and happy time for me. Kind of sparkly. So, kind of want to just put some sparkle gems on there because it's very bright for me. Okay, now let's do the inside. Um, kind of have these dollar tree flowers. Huh. I always think about a lot of blooming flowers this holiday, so I'm gonna put right there in the corner. I'm gonna put one on the inside too. So like I said, we, um, my friends and I, when we do a Beltane ceremony, we do a big potluck. What's your favorite thing to take to a potluck? mine is I love making garlic chicken potato salad this time of year it is so good it's my favorite thing to make and take to a potluck all right I'm gonna put some flowers on the inside here And then we're going to do a pocket over here. Sounds like we got some doggies outside. I, I really like where I live, um, the apartment complex. They allow us to have animals here. We have a nice pool. I mean, everybody's nice and polite. It's very nice. And the apartment complex I live in has a lot of trees, so a lot of greenery. Makes me happy. A lot of nice grassy areas where I can just walk outside and just ground to the earth. 
They just seem so happy, don't they? Okay, there's my pocket. My inside's done. Like I said, very plain and simple. But I hope you enjoyed. So we have, have those two done today. Okay. And this is what we have done so far. Okay. So we're getting there. We're getting there. Let's see how, how thick it's getting. <laughs> so yeah, our next one will be tomorrow. Lamus. I hope I'm pronouncing some of these right. Lamus. You know, as a Wiccan, you think I would know, but no, I don't ever pronounce anything correctly. All right, I hope everybody has a good day. Have any questions, please leave them down in the comments section. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.